Situated on a country estate near Benoni, the home has a contemporary open plan design. Former personal trainer turned stay-at-home mom Sigrid wanted it to reflect her family's fun-loving lifestyle, so she did the interior decor herself. I love the use of color and the different textures around the space. Yes, we decided to bring in a whole lot of different features. We've got the stone cladding on the wall there, which accentuates the smoothness. In the center, we've got the atrium with all the plants and the water. Got a wall art here on the wall. And yes, then we just brought in all the color. Having children here, yeah, we wanted it to be a, a warm feeling home. To create this warmth, Sigrid chose a pastel palette and a cantilevered fireplace provides radiant energy throughout the living space. That is one sexy fireplace. I mean, it just oozes all kinds of <laughs> gorgeousness. I love it. It's lovely, yes, thanks. We brought it in the middle to make the big open space into two rooms, the dining room and the bar. And yeah, just nice and cozy winter. Sigrid, this is quite interesting. Is it crushed glass? Yes. It's called Marmarang, and we decided to go with something different because we've done a lot of Caesar stone throughout the rest of the house. So crushed glass was a good idea. I also thought it was great because the guys couldn't put down their red wine glass and spill. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. At least I have the bar to enjoy. Yes, absolutely. We decided to go with a more modern feel bar. Sorry ladies, I couldn't uh, help overhearing you speaking about my bar. Well, you know you're in a South African home and the boys are brying with something good in their hand. Very chilled. The idea in this home was to have it as part of the home. So it was free flowing from one part of the house to the other. We didn't want a traditional bar where the men would be sitting around and the ladies were excluded. But Lorna, let me explain a couple of interesting aspects of my bar to you. The first being the crushed glass. The idea behind this was that we'd have a crushed glass look with LED light shining through it to give it some atmosphere at night. But I always wanted a split level bar where you want to consider it a different level and almost get that coffee bar feel yes. guys. And very importantly Lorna to house my wine collection that I have. Lloyd's collection boasts vintages dating back to 1965. Ensuring the ideal space to savor the wine were architect Stephen Wood and contractor Spencer Fenton. What I've noticed is that the home flows from one space into another. For me, it's very important that when you come into a house, you have somewhere to look. So that's why I created an atrium that you'll be able to look through to the pool and be able to experience the whole space um, as you see it in layers. You know, the difficult thing was that the stand was sloped quite a lot from back to front. So one of our main challenges was actually to get the steps of the house going back down correct. To achieve this, Stephen and Spence are built on four levels, so the house follows the natural gradient of the stand. The raised pool is supported by a custom-designed retaining wall. There's an interesting story behind the pool as well. It's a design that we picked up while on holiday in Mauritius, and we decided that we wanted to build a reverse room slow pool, which we've eventually managed to achieve. Now, I'm pretty keen to know how you guys actually met. Okay, well, we actually knew each other from school days oh. and uh, went our own separate ways. And um, saw him one day at gym and he said, I need a date for a wedding. And as I say in the classics, the rest is history. Living together as a family in their dream home is a gift the couple regard as their greatest achievement. And their children, six year old Brooke and three year old Brody, share their enthusiasm. Yay! Thank you, Brooke. Thank you so much. Hey, Brody. Brody. Oh, you just don't want to smile with me. I'm going to make you tickle them funny faces and this and that and another thing. Hey? <laughs> I don't know what she thinks, but I think Brody gets his personality from his dad, right? Thanks, Lil. I'll take it as a compliment. Well, with those eyes, I think you're going to have it with the girls. He's <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> I understand you really wanted a personal touch in your kitchen. Yes, Luna, I didn't want a conventional kitchen table, so we eventually came up with a design with the split levels, which would make it easier for the kids to eat, and then just came up with a bit of a shape and a colour, just to make it different and, and personalised. And Luna, the kitchen also forms part of a real fun area in the house. We've got a TV room, we lead down to the kids' playroom, and of course we've got memories on the walls. Using bright contrasting colours and wallpapers along with accessible art creates a stimulating downstairs living area for the children. When playtime is over, the whole family heads upstairs to a cozy space which has become a sanctuary and the heart of their home. This is the pyjama lounge that Lloyd spoke about, Lorna. This is the area where we come up every evening, we make a fire, kids, dogs. This is where we live and we just relax. So leading off here, we have all four bedrooms. Okay. And let me show you the main bedroom of today. Oh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> oh, wow. 
this is really stunning. So I've always wanted an open plan bathroom bedroom and uh, it's just amazing. I love lying in my bath with the fire on. Wow. And looking out the window at the view, it's just beautiful. I love the touches of his and hers, so the feminine pink and the masculine grey. Absolutely, yes. I love a dusty pink and Lloyd had no problem with that. So we <laughs> That's that a good thing, right? Yes, no, he was very happy. So the greys and silvers came in with it, just to cosy up the floors. And then leading off the back there we have the walking dressing room. It's spacious and well integrated. But with Lloyd being a sought-after attorney, the bedroom area also had to include a convenient chill zone. One request Lloyd had was an outside shower in the courtyard over there. So through the door and you can go out and have his little shower. For the Keezers, life is about chasing butterflies, counting stars and counting your blessings. What's the most fulfilling thing about living in this home? I think for us as a family, it's uh, exceeding our expectations in what we wanted to build. You know, we've also been fortunate enough to be able to now live in an environment that's safe and secure for our children and just grow as a family. So it really is amazing living here because we have the freedom of the whole estate and we get out on the golf carts and our bicycles and it's just never ending for us. Brooke, what do you enjoy most about living in this house? Well, the pool and riding our bikes, living as a family. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Success doesn't come easy and I'm sure you've had to work so hard to enjoy all of this. For me success is finding a balance between what's required to realise your dreams and then living your dreams. So at the point it's just working away and not being able to realise and enjoy yourself. Well cheers to a good plan coming together. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Sigrid and Lloyd wanted a home where their children could grow up happily. Our guess is they'll never want to leave. <laughs>